Hello, welcome back to my corridors. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my corridors. So today's video is not really scripted. Um, and I know I said I wasn't going to make a whole lot of personal videos in the future, which, you know, I meant that, but I decided I finally want to talk about this because it's something that I've battled for so many years and I've never addressed it and I've never talked about it, which I don't, I know I don't have to, but I just want to make this video for people who, who like, I just want, for like those who do struggle with this, I just want to let y'all know that you're not alone and I'm sorry you're going through this too. I want to finally talk about my anxiety disorder and I'm going to try to summarize it as much as I can. Um, because I was watching a video that Jonathan Davis made, or not made, somebody interviewed him and he was talking about his mental health and stuff. Um, and I was really inspired to do, to why watching that, so I just wanted to make my own version of it. So, um, I was diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder last year. Um... Cause like I had a short time with a therapist and she diagnosed me with it finally. Um, but I've known ever since, I've known ever since my teen years, maybe even before that, that I've had some kind of anxiety. Um, I can't exactly remember like every bit of anxiety that I've had all my life, but I know that like it, I think it originated from my childhood because I didn't have the best childhood. I had tra traumatizing things happen to me, which um, I'm not really comfortable discussing. Maybe one day in the future I'll talk about them, but childhood trauma, like a lot of it can result into an anxiety disorder, so there's that. I remember like the real the first real anxiety attack I had was in my teen years. I can't remember what it was about, but it felt so bad. I I felt like I was dying. I and it caused me to break my glasses. I um Yeah. Um all my life I've had numerous anxiety attacks about random things and sometimes it's not always like hyperventilating like you see on TV and movies. Sometimes it's just like saying things that you don't really mean. Saying irrational things like, oh my god, what if I don't get to do this? What if I don't what if this happens? What if I die tomorrow? Like stuff like that. Um I um sorry, this video is not scripted, so I'm just kind of pulling things out of my ass right now. All my life I've worried about random things. Like, oh my god, what if I get in my car and someone hits me? Oh my god, what if I get hit by a drunk driver? What if I get cancer? What if I... What if I prick my finger and get a staph infection? Like, it's always like random things, like, that turn so irrational. Um... I worry about, like, like with friends and stuff, like, oh my god, what if I'm the least favorite friend, what if nobody likes me, oh my god, like, what if my friends don't want to invite me places, and when I don't get invited places, I'm like, oh my god, they hate me, and I worry so much about, like, with relationships too, like, Oh my god, what if my partner isn't loyal to me? Oh my god, what if his parent, his or her parents don't like me? Oh my god, like, they hate me, like, just, it's always irrational things. Like, I, it'll, like, lead into, like, stupid things, too. Like, I recently bought a bag for the Haunted Mansion. You probably, you guys probably see, saw on my story. Like, it was a little hiking bag. It's not little, it's actually pretty decently sized. It's for hiking, like, when I'm ready to go hiking and stuff again. Because it's just been so hot. Um, I sat and wondered, what if I never get to use that bag? 
What if I die before I can do it? What if I never get a chance to do this? What if this one opportunity that I was given and I didn't take? What if that was the last chance I could have ever done that? It's always something like that. I, in high school, I would always withdraw from my friends because I always thought that I was just a burden to them and I was just going to have an anxiety attack and they weren't going to like me. It was always little things like that and I'm really regretting it. This is probably like my, one of my biggest regrets I've ever had my entire life. I, there's been so many opportunities that I've, I've been given and I never took because I sit there worrying because I worried this this stupid thought that I that I thought that wasn't even true my brain just tried to convince me so hard it was true and I've missed so many opportunities to do things with the people that I care about I and I really regret that I wasted years of my life thinking that no one likes me, and that's why they didn't invite me to places. And that actually wasn't true. I wasted opportunities to go hang out with people because I was worried I was going to die in a car crash, and that never happened. And I never was going to get killed, but... And I wasted years of my life being so afraid to do the things that make me happy because I was so worried something bad would happen and I really regret it so much I I don't want to spend another day worrying about the things that I want to do and the things that make me happy I wasted years of opportunities and a lot of them are gone, and I'm never going to get that time back, no matter how hard I try. <sighs> I... I regret all that. But... I've been able to... I've been able to manage it. And not with therapy, and... I have gone to therapy before, but it did not work for me, and I, I get so pissed off when people mention, like, the idea of therapy to me, because sometimes it works for some people, and if that, if it works for you, that's fine, but for me, it, it didn't, it didn't really work for me. It was getting too expensive, and it just, I wasn't, like, I didn't really click with any therapist, so... Like, I just, I didn't take that anymore because, like, it was just, I just didn't, it just wasn't working for me. And I get so pissed off when people mention that idea to me because, well, it did, didn't help. And I'm tired of people trying to suggest me something that I've already tried and I don't want to hear any more of it. A lot of people, like, are wondering, you know, how were you able to manage it without therapy? Well... One, by eating healthy. Two, getting enough sleep. And it's hard, but I have to choose my good judgment in the people, you know, lifting me up. I have to choose that over... I have to choose that over my anxiety every time. There's, um... I talked about this before. One of my heroes is Jason David Frank. And I remember him saying at the end of the Power Rangers movie that anything is possible. And I sat down with a friend for a long time talking about this. And she let me know that, you know, nothing I want is unrealistic. And, you know, and I sat thinking, you know, why do I deserve all these good things? I didn't do anything to deserve it. And she's like, yes, you did. There is so much good about you that there is so much more good about you than you think. And it was a long conversation, but that's just me summarizing it. 
there's also a quote I found from Jason David Frank saying, you know, the more you talk about negativity, the more you draw it, you draw it into your life. And it's better to speak victory, not defeat. I didn't word it exactly the way he did, but that's what he was trying to say. Um, so I, what I know from that is, and my, even my friend mentioned this, there's, there's the, in Wicca, there's the rule of three. Whatever you bring into the world, whether it be positive or negative, you're going to get back times three. And living every day by knowing the rule of three and knowing that anything is possible and nothing I want is unrealistic, that's how I was able to manage it. And I I was able to manage it. And I still like regret all these opportunities that I was given and never took, but I know that one day... When an opportunity is given to me, I'm going to take it, and I'm not going to be afraid. Because I know I deserve these good things, and I know that, you know, the only person keeping me from being happy is myself. And that's what I want to keep in mind every day of my life. I don't want to spend another day worrying about, like these silly irrational things. I want to live, wake up every day with a positive mindset and to go to sleep knowing that anything is possible. Knowing that I achieved something. And I don't want to let anybody's negativity ruin the rest of my day. I don't want to let somebody's 10 seconds of negativity ruin however, like, is there 60,000 minutes in a day? Or seconds, I don't know. I, I don't want to let somebody's small snippet of negativity ruin my entire day. I'm not going to let that happen anymore. And I'm, I'm going to live every day knowing that anything is possible. I want to live every day being the best version of myself. And the best version of myself is acknowledging these things. And that's how I've been able to manage it. Uh, it really wasn't easy talking about this, but mm, it's better late than never. Um, yeah, just if any of you are also struggling with an anxiety disorder, I don't really struggle anymore. Not like I used to. I've been able to manage it okay. But if any of you are struggling, I just want you to know you're not alone. And everybody has different methods of how they manage this stuff, but this is how I managed it. You have to choose your good judgment over anything. And you have to choose your common sense. And I know it's hard for you to believe other people when they tell you these good things. Just believe them. Just take their word for it because there's a reason why they're saying this stuff. And... Sometimes self-reassurance works too, like because I get the reassurance part, but I really don't need it anymore because I've been able to give that to myself. And I've been able to give myself what I was never given. Um, but, hang on. My dad was trying to call me. I, I'll call him back after this, but yeah, um, that's... I just want you guys to know, if you're struggling, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that you're going through this, but... My brother will not shut up. I'm sorry to hear you're going through this, but you're not alone. But this is what helped me, and I'm... I hope that this can help somebody. Um... I hope this helps somebody. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, whatever. I'll see you all later, and... Stay metal.